Every game in this arena seems to be uh, very physical. Um, the crowd sort of on you, doesn't um, pick up full court, obviously. How do you feel like you guys handled that sort of pressure you know, in the building? Yeah, I mean, it was it, it definitely had a, a, a playoff vibe to it. Um, you know, again, I think, you know, not to discredit what South East did, they were really good and, and really aggressive and, you know, they got the ball where they wanted to go on the block and, 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 and attack the paint. You know, I think we let ourselves down a lot. I think we made some real bad mental lapses at the wrong time of the game uh, throughout. Um, and I thought we played a little bit frustrated. Um, you know, the... You look at the stats, right, and the, the one that sort of mainly jumps out the most was um, we only had five assists at half time, and you know that generally shows like you know, a lack of ball movement from our part. So, you know, it's the second game in a week now where um, you know the ball's not moving around the floor as much as we like, and, and you know we're doing it at the wrong time of the season. So, look, we'll we'll go back and reassess and, and address some issues that we need to fix up. Um, and as I've always said, everything that sort of um, is Making us play bad basketball is 100% fixable, um, you know. But you know we've got was it like nine days left in the season, and we're still not guaranteed a playing spot. Um, you know we've got to really lock in and, and finish out the season on the right note, so we roll into finals. Is that something you've already been preaching? You know, playoffs are going to come, game's going to slow down. You guys have to play at a high pace and learn how to play in the half things like that. Have you already been sort of? Trying to instill that into this group. Yeah, and and this is you know the the main thing with these guys is also trying to pick their moment. You know we didn't shoot well, right? We had some good looks that hit the back of the iron. We got to the foul line. We had foul shots that didn't drop. Um, we forced it, you know, especially in that half court where it slows down. You know there was a lot of times where it was just a dribble attack. Um, you're not going to get a lot of results from that. So um, you know you can still play with a pace in the half court. You know, but where do you get your opportunities from? Um, and that's something we really have to navigate and speed up the process to get it right. Do you have an idea what the early diagnosis is on Keanu at this point? It looked pretty bad. Yes, it's, um, again, I never want to speculate. We'll, we'll go through the appropriate channels and, and get him to see a doc. And, um, but his eye's pretty swollen. You know, it was bleeding. Um, it was bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the lip, bleeding from the eye. Um, we'll get him checked out, but um, you know the the plan is right. I'm not preparing for him to suit up this weekend again for us, and um, we'll make sure he he's right first, and make sure he's right to fly back home and and do all the necessary things to put him in the, uh, the position that we take care of his health first. Are you able to talk about the process of the team as far as not wearing the pride jerseys collectively? Yeah, and, and this is the, you know, I, I know um, the club has issued a couple of statements which pretty much answers the most of it. And, and you know, the one thing that i um, really proud of this group, right, is that we you know, come to a, a collective decision. Um, we support them. We support the NBL's initiative, right, and this is what's really important is um, the message of what this round represents and um, individuality and unity and, and love, right, and... Um, you know, we weren't unfortunately recipients of it for some benign reasons. So, um, you know, we're doing this because we got around our brothers and we want to protect each other. And 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 rather than feel like we're getting signalled out for any particular reason, this is us, right? And I'm proud of them for it. And um, it doesn't diminish our support at all. What the league initiative is, we back it 100%. It's perfect. And um, um, yeah, everything else is pretty much in that, those main statements. Do you as a coach under, understand the, the pushback that has naturally come? I don't know if you've seen it yet. Um, because by doing so, you have sort of a community that's been ostracised for so long feels even more ostracised. I think we explain it pretty well in our statements because I know I've done a presser yesterday and you know, this is the second time I'm speaking on it. And um, um, you know, there's a club statement, there's a player statement. It's really important, right, that we believe in the message of love and unity and, and everything else. And, and we're not diminishing that at all, and we support it, and we're supporting each other in the process. So, it pretty much covers everything. You're wearing a pride badge. Was there any discussion among the coaches to potentially not wear that and join the players in you know, not sort of representing the pride round at all, or was that a no-brainer for you? No, again, like everything we sort of like to do with this round, yeah. we've we've said in the statement, and we there's been no change in our stance with that. So, um, I think that's all I've got to say on it. Um, how did you feel out there? You got very cheeky, obviously, words, exchange, things like that. How did you feel in that environment? Do you think your team can learn to you know, 
Uh, yeah, that's that's nothing for us. That that talk and that chippiness, you know, we we do that every day at practice with each other. Um, and for me personally, that's that's something that I like to do. It gets me going. Um, and yeah, no, I, I don't I don't have any issue with it. And our, our team actually performs well under that. So you practice rotation. Do you how prepared are you personally for playoff basketball? I know you played a really high level in year one. Mm -hmm. you know, how prepared are you to? Super prepared. Yeah, I've been prepared for a long time. Um, I think even those questions about whether I could play in the league coming in this year, obviously last year as well, same question. You know, every time I, I step up and answer. So no different with the playoffs. Um, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Well, you spoke about the fact that a lot of the issues from Pride Round and what you guys are going through has been addressed in those statements. Um, as a player, you know, how did was there sort of anxiety among the group who were perhaps more supportive of it um, for not wearing it, or do you feel like everyone is happy with the decision that you guys came to collectively? I, yeah. I don't want to hijack it, and again, I'm sorry to do this to you, but we're supportive of it. We're supportive of it. Like, we are supportive of it. What we're trying to avoid is these targeted attacks. So we are supportive of it, and the playing group's supportive of it, and everybody's supportive of the message. It's, it's really important that we understand that, so... The, I think the statements make it pretty clear. Forty in the statement, um, the players said that they felt that um, the NBL's move left them open to be vilified. How are you feeling about that? It's all in the statements, and I'm not trying to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've done two presses on it. There's two statements. We're real clear. We're supportive of Pride Round, and this is more to do with us, right? In the fact that we don't want to be targeted, right? So, you know, are you concerned that? The move tonight has left you open to be targeted by the whole team not wearing it and the impact of that on that community? We, again, the statements, I explain everything. They do. They, they, I don't know what more you want from me. The statements explain everything. Ben, just one on that. Can you give us an insight into the last 48 hours and how the playing group got to this decision? And I know they're No, about no, he criticism. won't. The statement explains it. Thank you. We need to move on. We just played a hell of a game. Yeah, more for Keanu. Like, I'm disappointed for him because, you know, he's more than... He, he's eager to get out there. Um, the, the group does well with adversity and, you know, we'll find our flow again. But, yeah, I'm just more disappointed for Keanu that he's worked so hard to get back to this and then, you know, he's potentially out again. So, again, I don't know how long he's out for. We'll, we'll assess it and we'll go from there. Was he, he was still on a slight minutes restriction tonight, was he, or was he fully healthy to go? Oh, if he was, I wasn't playing it. So, yeah, we rolled him out, so... <laughs> Uh, going into every game, you try to look at what's directly in front of you, but you guys have a unique round with three games. Do you, did you approach that differently? Do you have a philosophy as far as a lot of the games in a short amount of time, or do you attack it normally? No, nah, you sort of have to take it this at one game at a time, the old cliche. Um, it's almost like, you know, it's like a, a dry run for finals, right? Because you don't know how condensed the schedule is going to be. Uh, you know, I refer back to previous years I've been involved, and, you know, we did a um, I think it was a 2014-15 season. We did a best of three against New Zealand when it was with Perth, and it was three games in five days that travelled from Perth to Auckland back to Perth. So, um, yeah, you use it as an example of, of how the finals is going to be, and it's really important what the in between we do with recovery and, and uh, hydration and everything else. So we put our best foot forward for the next game. Forty uh, on Keanu, you've talked about um, you know the, how he's been refereed and his treatment. The from other players. Um, what was your read on how he was injured tonight? No, tonight was fine. Tonight was just, it was one of those games and it was a bit of a collision. Um, but no, I thought the, 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 the officiating was fine tonight. Just throwing forward to the finals, I know there's a little while before we get there, but it's, there's an interesting situation where in between, say if you tied one all in the semis, you have a, I think it's an eight day break for the fever window and then play game three. Are you aware of that? And what are your thoughts on it? No, I haven't. Yeah, I don't have any information about it. So you know more than I do about it, so... What, what's your first read when I tell you that? Oh, I have to process it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. No, there's nothing on Zoom, so... Awesome. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah.